Hello everyone, Alex the architect for back app and in today's video we will continue our sub-series about data objects inside our series about React Native and Parse. Today we will talk about objects. So Parse is a very uh, extensive and very comprehensive uh, platform that allows you to save many different kinds of data and sometimes you need uh, the ability to save very complex data inside Parse. So thinking about that, uh, the developers of Parse created the object uh, property, which allows you to save any kind of uh, JSON encoded uh, string. Uh, it will be validated as a JSON object, and it allows you to save from very simple objects with just very simple properties, such as a string, for instance, to very complex objects. So to illustrate that, I'm going here to the dashboard, I'm adding a new column. It will be the type object, and I'm going to call this complex object. Click add column, and my complex object as an object appeared here. So to show you how to use this property, I'm going to try, try and type a few uh, not valid values in here, so you can see how it works. So for instance, if I try to write just my name, Alex, and try to save it, you see it won't be able to save it because it's not in the JSON format. So in order to save it, I have to open brackets, paste the name of my property, so in this case, name, for instance, and then pass its value, so Alex. Now it's allowed, it allows me to save and I can get this object as a complex as I need it to be. So for instance, I can put a comma here, oops, comma, I'm having some issues breaking the line, there we go, and then I'll type another property such as age, which will be a number, so 40, comma, then I'm going to pass, uh, pay, uh, put another uh, uh, property such as uh, is employee, which will be a boolean. And here is my full object, it's starting to get more complex as I add new properties, and there are, there are a few key uh, keys uh, that you might, might think of when using this. So uh, it will only validate if the JSON uh, format is correct. So you can have totally different objects fr from one line to another. So in one line, you can have uh, just a, the name as a string. On the other one, you can have the uh, name and age. On the next one, you can have name, age, and uh, the is employee, which is a boolean, you can have arrays, you can have a, a, a nested object inside it, so uh, it will only validate if is or not a valid JSON string. So keep that in mind when you're saving your objects. So in order to save those objects programmatically in React Native, I'm going back to Visual Studio, and we will start by uh, referencing the class we wanted to uh, access. In this case, let to do equals new parse dot object and then the class name as a string to do. Then I'm declaring the object I want to save. I'll start with the complex object we created. So I'm putting my name, which is a string, as you can see for the double quotes, comma, age, which is a number, so it's just a number, it, do it doesn't have the quotes, and then is employee, which is true, so it's my boolean value. And then I'll set this to my uh, property just like any other parse property. So to do that set, then the name of my property, complex object, comma, and then the object I created up here. Then I'll start a try catch block where I'm going to try to save it. So I'll wait because this is a synchronous call to do that save. If it works, alert uh, dot alert successfully saved. If something goes wrong, it will hit the uh, catch block where I'm going to do a alert dot alert error plus error dot message, which is a descript descriptive message of what's happening when uh, we tried to save and didn't work. So this is how you uh, set a object property in React Native and Parse. This is a very, very uh, useful and uh, 
a flexible way for you to store complex objects inside uh, a parse record. I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next ones of this series. See you soon. Bye bye.